Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Tara from Tara One Love Coach. So great to be back with you. Sending blessings to you all internationally here in the USA and all over the world. So great to be back. Sending a shout out also to those who are listening to my podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we'll be doing another timeless reading from Scorpio. So Scorpio, we're, we are going to see what's coming in for you. And we will be looking into the messages. And we're just going to see what's coming in for you. Now with the timeless reading, uh, it's not restricted by time. It goes by how it resonates with you. If you hear something in a video and you're like, wow, I'm going through that. That's a timeless reading. It goes by how it resonates with you intuitively. Okay, I just want to thank everyone for tuning in and just spending a little time with me. Uh, let's see, let's see what's going on for you. Okay, all right. Follow me if you're listening in on my podcast. I am on Spreaker. I am on iHeartRadio. I am on Spotify. Um... I am on, uh, where else am I? Google Podcast. Uh, the links are in the description, so check them out. If you guys are interested in a reading also, remember, you can check those links out. I am on Instant Go, the Instant Go app. Download it. It's for iPhone right now. And also the Magnify app. I actually believe the Magnify app, you can download that if you would like to call me, you do get 10 minutes added to your call free. Okay. Um, but I also feel like I think I'm ro they're rolling it out to Android. So also check Android if you have an Android phone, phone as well. Okay. So it's on iPhone and I believe it's on Android as well. Okay. All right. So let's see what the energies that are going to be surrounding you. Okay, so I am going to be using the true uh, love reading cards. Let me start with those. And they, they are uh, from Melinda Grace. And the illustrations are by Lori Banks. Okay, beautiful pictures are on these cards too. Those of you that are listening to my podcast, I'll, I'll describe what the card looks like. Okay, okay. So let's start. I want to start with these cards for Scorpio. I hope I said I'm doing Scorpio. I am doing Scorpio. Okay, guys? Yes. Okay. So this is for Scorpio. And we have the yin and the yang. Oh, wait. Do I have this upside down? Okay, no. This is the yin and the yang. You know, that, that perfect fit, that... Let me move further. We have luminosity. And with the yin and the yang, it's a yin and yang symbol on the card, okay? And luminosity, lum illuminating, illuminating. I will be describing what these cards mean. Uh, the rainbow reviver. And that's a pretty card as well. I do agree. That is a very pretty card. So let's start with the yin and the yang. With the yin and the yang here, looking on the picture, it's about love relationships and life in general are infused with the yin and yang energies for both the feminine and the masculine. When feminine and masculine energies flow well together and around each other, you will be blessed with harmony, balance, and abundance and joy. When there is too much of one energy or when one is weak, you will be challenged in certain areas of your life and relationship. If you are seeking your soulmate, take a moment to sit quietly and tune into your own balance of the yin and yang. 
Do you have a tendency to be passive? Too much yin with a potential partner or too aggressive? Too much yang? If you always let the other person make the decisions or if you are always the one trying to make something happen, then it's time to create more balance. So this is a card bringing in, sending a message out just to say it is time to have balance. So it's more so a card saying that there could be balance needed in the relationship, but also it could be a card that could mean that the po person you're with, they're your, you're their yin, they're your yang, the perfect match. Okay, so we have here luminosity. And with luminosity, when you are connected to your divine feminine, you become luminous, okay? When you're connected to your divine feminine, your true nature shines from within and you glow. Wow. The luminous woman is the feminine counterpart of the shiv chivalrous male. They are attracted to one another, complement, support, and nurture each other. Being luminous requires practice as the feminine helps you to let go of your old partners, of taking over, micromanaging, or insisting things be done your way. You have drawn this card today because the luminous woman in you is calling out for attention, urging you to be graceful and to incorporate some luminous energy into your busy day. Choose one small thing that you can, Im can imbue with your luminosity today, but your request out there and give thanks. Put your request out there and give thanks for it being done. Okay, so that's luminosity. I am reading from the book that comes with the cards, okay? So we are going to be moving to the Rainbow Reviver. The Rain Okay, and with the Rainbow Reviver, Feeling good from the inside out is important no matter what it is happening in your life. We all need a little lift from time to time and a rainbow reviver is a great way to put a smile on your face. When you are single, the rainbow can help you feel more positive and lovable. If you are in a relationship and the challenges of your life have worn you down a little, the rainbow will brighten up your day. You can Give yourself a rainbow reviver anytime and it only takes a minute. So this is here. This is how you uh, get a, re a rainbow reviver. Okay. Just listen closely. First, take a nice deep breath. <sighs> Exhale. Exhale fully and get present in your body and the moment. Then imagine a rainbow with its seven rich luminous colors Picture the rainbow flowing towards you and streaming into your crown chakra on the top of your head, filling you up until you overflow, allowing it to wash over the surface of you as well. Then affirm to yourself, this rainbow is cleansing, uplifting, and energizing. I feel peaceful, positive, and happy. You have drawn this card today because your angels and spirit guides would like you to use this simple technique whenever you need a cosmic hug. They even suggest that you put a picture of a rainbow on your mobile phone computer or in your wallet to remind you of this lovely technique because life gets busy and it's easy to forget that help is at hand. That's the Rainbow Reviver. So those are the messages. Those are the starting messages for Scorpio reading. Let's get a little more insight on what's going on with you, Scorpio. What energies are around you. And hey, okay, you know. We got deceit, okay? If you're listening out there on my podcast, we got deceit, okay? We got this deceitful looking mm, person. So, let's move a little bit further. We have a man holding a coin. 
and let me shuffle. Okay, so those of you who have Magician and the Mirror. Okay, so those of you, the, the message is here so far. Be alert. Whenever you get deceit, keep your eyes open. Man holding a coin tells me that there could be a possible earth sign at play here. And you have the Magician in the Mirror. This is about reflection, but also it's about the tools that you're using, the uh, your gifts, pretty much, um, the things that you use to get what you want, pretty much. Um, yeah, that's what I can say about that as far as the magician is concerned. I actually kind of went blank there um, with the magician. But the magician is basically like the magician in a tarot. Um, you've got to put all your tools together, work your magic. Um, whatever you desire, if there's something that you are striving for, if there's a particular person that you want, um, work your magic. Um, that's what I'm seeing with that situation. Be luminous. Be inviting. Okay? Um, so that energy can come back to you. So you can attract that energy. So let's move a little bit further with some tarot cards here. And I have the Queen of Staffs. I am doing Scorpio, which is a water sign, but a fire sign is coming out. Whether this is an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Let's see what's behind you. We have the Ten of Cups. Oh, we have the Nine of Cups, which is the Wish card. So that's moving. That's in behind you. So it looks as though that there may, to, may, may have been a desire or a wish of some sort but we have the queen of staffs energy here whether this is a significant other whether this is a person on your radar um we have the eight of cups hmm and let me move a little bit further and we have ooh. and we have fertility fertility you know someone asks me uh, do I do pregnancy readings? Okay, I just I just felt like I just needed to say this, you know. Um, I don't do pregnancy readings because I'm not a medical professional. Um, so I wouldn't want you to, you know, be coming to me for something so important. However, I do do relationship readings. And just like it happened just now, it'll come up in the reading, okay? So if you are trying to get pregnant or if you desire to have a family, whatever, it's coming up in the reading, Scorpio, okay? Fertility. Then I can say, wow, are you trying to have a baby? Are you, are you pregnant? Or if not, it's coming in the near future for you. Um, so prepare okay so that's how it comes up actually with the empress card okay and and that's what i'm seeing here i'm getting a sense that there's going to be some bambinos popping out of the oven um or being created during the peak season um spring and summer okay but it looks like this is an energy where it looks like someone is very passionate very um not only passionate but this is a person with a lot of vibrant energy. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm seeing here. I kind of feel like these two go together. This earth sign and this um, this energy here. So whether this person has, this, whether this man holding a coin is a fire sign, I'm just getting this feel here, a, like a couple feel here or someone that you are attracted to and you're desiring. I feel like this is gonna be a relationship for the long haul. There's also timing on this card, which is nine months. The moment you, you press this video, nine months, okay? There could be something going on with that if you have uh, a particular person that you desire. There's an eight of cups here. So this says that somebody has walked away. There may have been a brief breakup 
there may have been a brief separation of some sort. Um, but it looks as though that even though it may have been a brief separation, this is going to be a relationship that's going to move further. Magician. So you got magic coming up twice. Okay. That kind of gives me a feel. You may want this person. This person may desire you. Um, but it, it could also mean that you're working your magic, whether you're working your magic charismatically. Um, and by the way, stay tuned to my podcast episodes on the different goddesses or the different archetypes or the different deities. I am going to be doing uh, um, story time podcasts for you to listen to. And, but they're also going to be relaying messages on real life events as well. Okay, but I weave them into the storyline. So it's something for you to put your headsets on or just relax and listen to, okay? Because there's a message in them, all right? Spiritual message, all right? So the reason why I'm bringing that up because of this magic. I speak a lot on spells. I speak a lot on being able to work your magic with inside, inside and charismatically as well. Um, they go hand in hand, okay? Um, but I see a lot of magic here. So I get a sense, um, Scorpio, that there's a lot of magic energy uh, flowing. Um, you have that energy of the magician. I feel like you're going to be one that really get what you want, go after what you want. If there's a particular person, I feel as though you have a charismatic energy or communication or just energy, karma, whatever. I feel like you have that ability to attract that individual to you. Okay, so I see a lot of work and magic in this reading, to be honest with you. Okay, why did this come out in reverse? Okay, we have the lovers in reverse here. Hmm. Now when they come out in reverse, this complicates crap. All right, why did this come out? So spirit must want to relay a message anytime I see lovers. This is actually Gemini coming out. We got a Gemini coming out in reverse. There may be a Gemini at play here. Um, but also the reason why this is coming out in reverse, I'm getting a sense that this is another relationship here. Okay. I don't know. Maybe this is a really, you know, I kind of feel like this is a relationship that that may be connected to a third party. So I see a couple here. Just like I told you here, I see a couple here, but there could also, look at this, and I see the family here. I feel like there's someone you want and you want to have children by and you want to have a family by, but I feel like there's another relationship that could be a thorn in the side or an outside threat, okay? That by doing that magic and working your magic, and remember, listen to my podcast, okay, with the goddess, um, Venus goddess working the magic um, check it out but you might from what I'm seeing here I feel like something uh, it's going on here the reason why this is in reverse okay hmm. look at that something shifted Look at that. Uh, I don't know. Maybe this has something to do with this walking away. Because I'm seeing this in reverse here. So I'm getting a sense that for some of you, there's an outside threat of another person. And look at this. This says Cleopatra. I love it. Cleopatra. Uh-huh. Queen Cleopatra. Isn't that something? I feel like there's an outside threat going on here. I feel like it's somebody you, you may want not in the picture. 
or you may want a dis to, to get a distance from you. But I kind of feel like this luminosity energy that's coming out is just like, you know, you're pushing out the negative, but you're also bringing in the positive as well. This may have a lot to do with this card too. Um, some type of energy or some type of negative deceitful energy that's coming in. And it also could be a manipulative energy as well. Uh, but I feel like if you're working your magic, if you're charismatically or uh, methodically working your magic and getting that particular someone you want from what it looks like, it works. It seems like you want someone to have a family with, um, but you want someone out the way here. Um, that's what I'm seeing here, Scorpio. It's a little bit scandalous, I gotta admit, but that's okay, because that's sometimes you get scandal in relationships. What is a, you know, a relationship without scandal? Look at that. You got the emperor here. So Aries is coming through. You got that fire energy here coming through. Maybe an Aries at play, but look at you, the emperor together. That's what you want, right? You two together. You want to sit next to your king. You want to sit next to your queen. Divine feminine, divine masculine here. This is what you want. You're working your magic here. Remember, listening to my podcast stories, check it out. Okay? Um, but this is someone that's really methodically working, putting the work in, trying to get the desired object of their heart. Could be an imp uh, could be an Aries at play here. We already have the Empress at play, so we have some type of fire sign here at play. But th we're doing Scorpio, but there's a lot of fiery energy, so there may be a fire sign here. But I really feel like you're going to get your wish. Well, this concludes the reading. If this reading resonates with you, give the video a thumbs up. Also, you can tell me how by leaving a comment in the comment section. Also, you can share the video. Until next time, God bless you.